Welcome back to another battle, everybody. I am Simon Amo, Grandmaster Level Risk, Global Domination Player, and today we're playing Progressive Capitals on Canada Advanced. We're playing as the green player out of the fifth position. We have a white bot, and we're playing with neutral bots in today's game. So unfortunately, this white bot is going to be a bot for the entirety of the game. Uh, we've got a three-point... What is that? Uh, Saskatchewan for a plus four. That's looking like my best option got some junk material down here the bot does not cap within this bonus which is good um i might be able to actually hold both of these the question is do i want to hold from the middle or do i want to hold from the top i think obviously the middle holds the bonus better but i think that the top gives me more options to branch out purple might roll me turn one I actually because purple's got a three here i'm gonna go middle i go before pink I, i'm gonna go middle i don't want purple to come roll this capital there's a little too much risk behind that play so i know it's the name of the game but unfortunately i'm not willing to sacrifice that loses three on the initial roll here. So maybe he had to chunk through some material or did somebody cap directly next to him? Um, somebody capped uh, directly next to him. We'll see who that was. Maybe it was the bot. Um, certainly a possibility that it was the bot. My office is for some reason a little chilly today. We've got the blanket on. We'll see how long this lasts here. But... Uh, yeah, players in the game. We've got the yellow player, uh, Gavriel Fotaris from Cyprus. Orange player, Ebullient Magician 392 from Israel. We've got the white bot. We've got the purple player, Gabe Stark 14. And then the pink player in the final position is General North 22729 from the U.S. I am in the fifth position. Uh, the bot did not get rolled. Orange did not get rolled. Was it our good pale purple? It... Um, No, purple lost some material, but I don't think he got rolled. I don't think he lost his capital, at least. Hits me up top. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Don't love that the bot placed in here, but that's okay. I'm going to go three here to take, and then the rest on here. See if I can double take. So take across. Okay, we're just going to take one at a time here because we don't win an 89% roll. Um, split like that. Just for a little bit of defense, pink gets nine. Um, I don't know what yellow's doing here then. I don't think purple got rolled. Or no, I guess purple did get rolled. Purple did lose his cap because he would have, in the from the fourth position, he would have gotten one extra troop. So he still had 12 or more territories, but he lost um, He lost his cap immediately. I don't really know why purple would cap next to yellow there. Yellow had a pretty strong cap to begin with. Um, and now he takes this bonus. Purple doesn't quit, which is interesting. So that's usually a sign of a decently skilled player. Orange has taken a plus two. Where is there a plus two on this board? There is not. So orange has just got material, but no bonus. We don't see what he's actually taking. He might be playing for Greenland right now or Yukon. Um, I think more likely Greenland. Yellow's off to a very, very good start on this game. Um, we'll be able to take a turn to double bonus. Double plus four should be pretty good for me. We'll see if we get broken. And there you can see pink, purple is completely without their capital. They've now been lo uh, knocked below 12 territories. I do notice turn one cap rolls are very common on this map. Um, so not super surprised yellow went for that on purple. Is purple going to be here or is he going to quit? He gave it a go on the first turn. Seems like he might have been balked out of Greenland and, and is no longer... No, he's placing his troops. I see the bobbing. Got the character bobbing at the bottom. He's sticking with it. Takes a takes a card next to me. I've got this three that can fortify the cap. So let's go. 
I go six, I go five, I split these, I bring the three up into capital. So we go, mm, never mind, I'm bringing the three here. This is what, I, that, that was the split I was hoping to have. So that fortifies here, we've got double bonus. Uh, pink's getting 13. Oh, pink just took the white cap. Okay. So pink took double bonus. I think pink has Yukon and and Alaska. I believe that math checks out. And now likely also has the white capital. Which, uh, on Illinois, not the best position for a cap. Um, obviously the bot placed it. But I, I just mean more like... Not the best position for a cap as far as uh, late game hold type maneuver. Yellow also getting 13. I should also get 13. I might get 14 depending on how much I get hit. Um, I don't like yellow going for Quebec. That's, that's a bit alarming. That is a bit alarming. This might be a snowball from yellow. I'm hoping maybe pink tries to keep them in check. We've got orange getting eight now. I think that's, again, entirely a territory play. Um, I go one here with a fortify. Maybe I take this bonus on the left-hand side as well. Yeah, white bot lost its cap to pink. So uh, as it stands right now, it's really going to depend on, on what kind of snowball play yellow goes for here. Um... I don't really want purple to exist. I feel bad for this guy. That's the problem with this map is everybody just tries to expand and see what bounds they put each other on. And I'm not privy to letting this purple player stay in the game um, for too long here. Let's go 10. Go 1 here for the fortify and then the rest on capital. I'm kind of just testing the bounds of how far I can go. I'm going to try a 6 on 3, 91%. And we'll roll the 2 on 1 at the end. Maybe we'll win it. We will not win it. Um, it's there and pull this down into cap. So I did lock my cap off. I thought I'd get this bonus. I wasn't expecting a white 3 there, but um, pink comes up in the DC, maybe. It's going to be a test of, of do pink and yellow challenge each other. I don't anticipate pink breaking me here. I feel like he would have done it by now, but he might still do it. That might be the position orange and I get put into is the break by, uh, by pink and yellow respectively, right? Especially if orange is playing for Greenland. Yellow's getting 14. So yellow doesn't have this bonus over here. He doesn't have Quebec. That's actually very good to know. Purple is officially flagged. So I think just must have lost too much of his material. And he has bailed on us. Doesn't want to have anything to do with the rest of this game. Um, to honestly save us time for how long it takes bots to place their troops, I might just start keep focusing the white bot over the course of this game. Just to try to get it out. We'll see. Orange has Greenland now, officially. Which is surprising that uh, Yellow would let him hold, considering there's double capital Happy Valley Goose Bay and Gander up there. Um, is he going for split? None of it. No. Does he hit? No, he's just taking a card. Okay. Interesting. Bot puts one down here. So the bot has at least five territories because we see three and two of them. Hey, Fergus, get down. The stinking cat, man. Get down. Get down. No. Get down. Okay. I'm sh I don't know if you guys could hear that sound. But that was the sound of a mischievous cat. Pink fortify, and this is the mischievous cat in question. Are you still a little boy? Ow. 
I love this cat so much, man. He he's such a dingus. He's so cute, but he's such a dingus. Like, look at this. Look at this boy. Look at how much of a dingus he is. He's gonna he's gonna bail on us, but oh, maybe he'll stay. He's more comfortable now. <laughs> Playing him like a guitar with the scratches. And then patent him. He's a silly cat. But yeah, I've got a I've got my desktop PC on my desk to my right. Shows as the left for you guys because of perspective, but on my right. And then oh, is he gonna feed the purple kill here? And then I've got a bookcase. And he jumps from the top up on the bookcase, but I've got stuff on display up on the bookcase there. Yellow was going for this. Took a very long time. I don't think yellow is very good. I think pink's going to be our bigger competition in this one. Um, yellow is quite slow. Uh, and this is the type of map. It's like the third or fourth largest map in the game. So speed is our fifth. One of the top five for sure. Speed is is very important on this map. Uh, on this map. And... Uh, Especially in like a 1v1, if the players aren't going to card block, you sometimes can just bonk them really badly uh, based off of speed. I don't. I think Orange is actually potentially boxed out by Pink here. I'm surprised he won't just place over here. I'm going to take these extra cards. Normally I wouldn't, but what? I'd be on 5. This would auto-set me. Put, it'll put me back on 5 anyway. I get the 4 trade for, for free if this is the end of purple right here. Um, so we'll see. Is orange quitting on us? Because that is not good. I don't want to be in the center of the board with two dominant forces on each side of me. If this player is bailing, and he is in fact bailing on four cards no less. Uh, white bot puts one here. So there's three white territories that I don't see. We'll check if this is the end of purple. Maybe we feed purple to, uh, to pink. But this should put me back on five cards after this turn. Uh, and if it's the end of purple, it's the end of purple. It is, in fact, the end of purple. We will take a standard set here, and that won't double set us, which is very good. Um, just dump these on cap, and we're back on five cards, right in line with, with the yellow player. So we'll get the four trade. We then get the eight trade as well, since orange quit. And let's see, maybe pink goes up into orange. Dumped everything here. Loses two on that roll. Is he keep going or is he going to split this to go to the right and hit yellow? I've been a good neighbor to him. He might just go up and take the uh, take the orange cap. I don't know why he's crying. Orange has quit. Backs himself up. Interesting. I obviously see this. That's quite the threat. I got... How much did I get? I got 20 troops. And they both get 24. That's actually not that bad. And I think my best way of proceeding in this game is to not antagonize either player. Um, he's hitting me. Is he going for the U.S. bonus? No, I think he's going for Ontario. I want these two players to both feel like the other one is the, is the big threat. Oh, he took this cap down here. Wow. Well played. And, and what should happen here is Pink call, comes off his 36 now out of frustration because he took the cap and uh, and bonks him. Yellow's holding the line on me. I'm not going to hit yellow. We're going to see how long I can go being a pacifist here um, and letting these two players destroy each other. I think the answer to, to that is uh, probably not much longer. Probably not much longer. Um, but I'm not going to break pink. He loses his capsule. He'll get a fewer troops here. I'm going to actually just hit orange here. We're going to trade. Land on capital. And bring back to capital. I'm not hitting yellow at all. I want yellow to think that I'm not even playing the game. 
And I'm hoping what happens here is pink comes off this big 36 up here and shoots across. But I don't think that's what's happening here. I don't even see his card. He doesn't retaliate. He fortifies up towards orange, though. Now yellow is getting 28. So pink does not retaliate on that play by orange. Or by yellow, I mean. And now, do, is this when yellow breaks me? Because I will blow all of his stuff up. He does not break me. Does he even backs the material up? Interesting. That's actually really interesting. I may be a bit confused by that play. So what, the last two white territories, are they Igloolik and Ikaluit East? I won't even be able to get Ikaluit East because of this blizzard here. It blocks, it forces it down into Saluit and Nain. Nain? Nain? It's probably just Nain. Or Non, maybe? If it's French? I don't know. Ignore me. We've almost got 100 cap, which is nice. Yeah, there's one of the white territories. And yellow will keep moving his front to the left. Pink likely gets the orange cap here, might even get the orange kill. And then maybe his focus will be set onto... Uh, maybe that'll set his focus onto yellow here. He's got to be close to it. So pink definitely with a bit better awareness, I think, than yellow has. It's, it's going to be me and the battle of the two powerhouses so far. I'm sure I can I can pull this out. I Sometimes you just got to you gotta take what you can and then realize that when there's two players like this, very, very large, um, it's not worth it for me to aggress just one of them but it's also not smart for me to aggress two of them right so orange uh, yellow sets in early i'm hoping this goes up into greenland and then pink pink will regret not retaliating earlier i'm not worried about losing my cap i could lose every bonus but it's, this cap is quite strong it's going to take take some effort to take it out and it does look we don't see any cards he goes right up into pink this is perfect so pink should retaliate and I, I'm inclined to side with Pink because Pink had ample opportunity to break my bonuses throughout this game. Yellow obviously did too, but um, but Pink, you know, went for the orange position there, took the white cap earlier, tried to improve his position, whereas Yellow just feels like he's kind of been expanding the whole time. Um, I think I've got one more. I want to see Pink do the retaliation first. If Pink just takes a card and passes, this game probably ends. He does lose the cap up here. Pink's on five cards as well. I'm going to take my card off the bot here. Um, because, again, I'm slowly trying to remove the bot from the game. It's my secret mission. It's not good troop usage. It's actually quite bad troop usage. Um, you know, I lose eight on that. But eventually... The bot will be gone and we'll save ourselves some time. Maybe we won't. I have no idea. Pink sets. We'll see if these caps jump back down to three. Because if they do, that will be our tell that, uh, that Pink's going back in. Although he hasn't taken it yet. Which does worry me that he's only bonus breaking. Alright, he's taken at least one. Where that is, I'm not sure. I don't think yellow removed all of him up here. Uh, you would think he'd take the two point bonus here. He, yeah, see, he doesn't, he doesn't break enough there. Yellow still gets 29 and now yellow's going to be like, dude, you're hitting me. And he's going to go right back in and take it back. If yellow jumps back to four, we're going to, oh my God, he just whacked the 20 stack there. Oh man. Oh, if there's any time to go. Sorry, I got to do it in my best Canadian voice. If there's any time to go, it's right now. I don't know why it doesn't come off the 13 underneath. You don't break me that way. 
So he actually, oh, this is good to note. He didn't reclaim the cap. He just came down and blasted material. So I don't think trying to go take one of his caps is the right choice right now. Presumably they're still defended. 16 backs up. All right. We'll see what purple does or pink does. I'm on five. I'm going to hide. How do I hide a stack from yellow? I want to hide pretty much my entire trade in here from yellow. Um, we'll just take a card here. I'm going to leave that there. Ah, there's another, there's another white territory there. Pink's still getting 23. So what's the extent of this clapback, right? Because there, there's a time and a place to hit yellow. But it's only once he's committed enough troops into pink. And he pulled the 16 back to a capital. Pink does not really retaliate that hard. I think the orange cap might be on, like, Citron and Fjord here. Or maybe Alert South. Like, something that doesn't hold the pathing. Yellow still gets 29. So I have this pathing up through here. That would be a decent way to loop back around. Realistically, I want a spot where yellow and pink connect, which I guess is this pathing here. But I don't want yellow to know it, right? I'm doing the same thing that pink did with me, where he had the pathing through me. And yellow does not really go back in on pink that hard. Maybe I kill the bot here. Just, I, I, my mission, my secret mission has been save everybody some time. So that's what we're going to do here. And I, it's also like make myself look a little bit like a noob. Um, like I don't know what's going on. But realistically, I'm trying to kill the neutral bot to save everybody a little bit of time. Because every turn that that bot plays is an extra turn uh, or extra time that we're not playing, that we're not enjoying the video, etc. And speaking of, if you are enjoying the video, I implore you to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, because it uh, helps me out quite a bit. We just recently hit 2,000 subscribers, so every little bit helps. Um, so I appreciate that from all of you. I've got uh, recent subscribers to the channel. Uh, Max Magnus. Cashmere outside. How about that? That's a great name. Uh, Mlody Mlody. The Felty. And Aaron Denizzi, who I've seen in the streams. Um, so shout out to everybody on that list who has subscribed. Greatly appreciate it. Um, how did I end up a card behind pink? Oh, pink killed uh, orange. That's how I'm behind pink. Yellow set in early here. Now yellow, yellow is fortifying towards me. It's 37 troops. I don't hit him now. I see what pink does. If pink doesn't hit him, um, then I think we need to make a move on him. And I'm worried that pink's not going to hit him this time. Although, what, pink's on 20? He was on 23 last time, so he lost something. Oh, he lost a cap. I didn't, did not notice. Uh, that was bad of me. Does pink come underneath? This is what I wanted. I wanted bonus breaking from the underside. No, he's not. He's not going in. All right. All right, then. That's bad. That is very, very bad. I guess because I'm not doing anything, he, he's fine trying to get second as well. 89 stack up there? Holy cow. I haven't caused any problems with yellow this entire time. But if yellow breaks me here, he hasn't broken me. I need to see if pink's willing to fight back. I kind of want pink to get obliterated. And I I, the, I know the moment I break yellow's trust here, the moment I break yellow's trust is the moment that, uh, that the, he will start focusing me. So we take one more turn here. Of potential retaliation. Oh, 
want it. If Pink shows me he's going to go for it, I'll back him up, but he might die. He's only got 66. Oh, boy, and he is going for it. He is going to die. He just sacked all of his troops. That's not what I wanted. All right, got to win a 1v1 against a slow player. I think I can. I think I can. He trades now. Interesting. Does he break me to start? Does he not take the kill? He does break me to start. And he might... Actually, I don't know that he can kill Pink here. If he boxed himself out... That's four cards. Huge stack here. We might have actually engineered this perfectly. Based off of this player's speed and the fact that I think that was the cap stack that just went for the kill there. And he traded in. He's got to go up and back down here. He's on five caps. He doesn't take the kill. <gasps> he doesn't take the kill. And he fortifies away. Holy cow. All right. We've got speed on our side. We know that. Interesting. That's back there. I don't want to roll caps right now. All right. There's two. So this is what I wanted to check. I want to make sure... Ah, that's where the cap is. That's where Orange's cap was. Alright. There's our pink kill. Took that when we should. So there is actually a two-point hold over all of this up here. Um, uh, middle cap's got to be kind of strong. He's not on a trade, though. I will be on five cards. So I can clear out everything in the back. He still gets 21 because he's got, obviously, four capitals. But he left this one completely undefended, and he's quite slow. So I should hopefully hold a bunch of board here. He's going to be smart enough to probably break every bonus. But I can likely hold a bunch of board. I think this is a very, very winnable position. Normally, I'd try to card block at this position. But I told you guys, I thought this player was very slow from the start of our game here. And I simply think that card blocking a player like this is just not going to be worth it. Just simply outpacing him. Once I can get this cap back here. Once I can get this cap. Uh, simply outpacing him on troops and speed is going to be my best way to play, right? So he he might be content with most of what he's hit here, but at the end of the day, yeah, like, he stops. I've got 47 territories. We're going to get, like, yeah, we get 19 troops with just two caps. Um, and then we trade. I know he won't even have a trade right now. So our 75 clears everything inside. And we actually even roll him there. Get both of these to be 50s. Uh, on one point that. To here. To here. I'll actually close that line off the top. He's got a 20. I forgot about that cap on the bottom, admittedly. But if I can get him off it and consolidate him to these two caps up top, I should be okay. I have a set on three if I need it, but I'd rather just play against him. So I'm at 272. 57, 35. That's uh, 92 plus 20 is 110 ish. 112. We got an extra 10 here. Three, whatever. He's at about 130 total troops with all of the territories that he has uh so we're more than double him and it's just the patience game guys sometimes this game is is about patience and waiting until the exact right moment to strike um i'm glad he rolled that so i 
I can come take this cap. I don't really want to roll capitals if I don't need to. Um, but if he gives them to me nice and weak, it might make sense just to set in, take the cap so he's down to one spot, and then try to win from there. Uh, but again, because he has so much board, the more spots I give him to be able to attack off of, the more dangerous it is for me. Uh, so I actually think trading in right now is not a bad idea. Um, so let's go... 67 here. I'm going to take both of these caps. Slow roll this. Yeah. Thought, you know, maybe, maybe I get it. Maybe I don't. Let me roll the cap here first. Not the best dice in the world. I, I clicked the button, but it didn't go. All right, we, we missed out on that one. But if he doesn't have a trade on three, I think we just win. We've got the 36 sitting behind him here. And we took all of the caps and all of the board. And, uh, you know, Yellow had a decent idea. Went for expansion until somebody tried to stop him. And he was so big once somebody tried to stop him that Pink just lost everything. Bailed on us. And we l waited like a, like a panther in the trees or... Panthers climb trees? Probably not. In the leaves. The the bush leaves. Because, again, I don't know that they climb trees. Maybe they do. Zoologists in the comments, let me know. Um, it looks like Yellow's not going to play with us here. I think he may have bailed on us. Uh, and that's going to be a win, everybody. Canon Advance, one of my favorite maps in the game. And it's reasons like this, where you just sometimes got to let people get massive. And then... Just strike at the right time. Just hit him at the perfect time. And uh, no set, but there should be enough troops here to hit him at that exact correct time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a 100% dice roll. Bang. He had a joke or two. He could have played on three. Didn't. Nice, solid game. I enjoyed this one quite a bit. I hope you guys did as well. Double novice, double beginner. Not the most experienced players, uh, but there's always room for people to improve. I liked some of the play I saw from both uh, pink and yellow. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, everybody, I've been C-Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.